So with the 12 staffers at Charlie Hebdo, the French satirical magazine, being killed in a terrorist attack, I think it's appropriate to look back at the words of uh, Stephanie Charbonnier. He's one of the head editors there. He was killed in the attack. And he said the following, quote, Extremists don't need any excuses. We are only criticizing one particular form of extremist Islam, albeit in a particular, in a peculiar and satirically exaggerated form. We are not responsible for the excesses that happen elsewhere, just because we practice our right to freedom of expression within the legal limits. If we worried about the consequences of each of our drawings in each of our 1,057 issues, then we would have had to close shop a long time ago. Of all publications, our magazine, which mocks the police at every opportunity, is now protected by it, which only goes to show that freedom of, freedom of speech is protected in our country. There will continue to be no taboos at Charlie Hebdo in the future. It should be as normal to criticize Islam as it is to criticize Jews or, or Catholics. Am I afraid to die? I have neither a wife nor children, not even a dog, but I'm not going to hide. We didn't feel like we could kill somebody with a pen. This may sound pompous, but I prefer to die standing up than live on my knees. Hear, hear. Those are uh, wise words. And again, I'm going to invoke the Voltaire quote because it's so perfect. If it, you don't believe in freedom of speech for people who you disagree with, you don't believe in it at all. That is Civil Liberties 101, the Constitution in America 101 with freedom of speech in the First Amendment. I mean, these are rights 101. If when the going gets tough, you decide, ah, oh, that whole free speech and freedom of expression thing, let's curtail it in this one little area. Well, then it didn't matter in the first place because it's easy to defend freedom of speech when somebody's saying puppies are cute. I love mother. Apple pie is delicious. You don't need freedom of speech when saying those things because everybody knows, everybody agrees with those things. You need freedom of speech the most when we're talking about things that are controversial, talking about things that are taboo. And also remember, things that are taboo at any one point in time in history, in the future, they may not be taboo at all. At one point it was taboo to say the world is round. The Catholic Church would kill you and persecute you if you said the world is round. Well, now we know that they were wrong, and we look back in history, and we laugh at those dumb motherfuckers for being so fucking stupid and married to their ridiculous ideology. Well, today we see the same thing with fundamentalist religion. Particularly on the issue of uh, drawing uh, religious figures, it's with Islam, where they want to punish it with death. Well, I'm sorry. We live in the modern world, and in free, open Western societies, there will be no compromise on that. Look, on, there are times when Muslims are unfairly oppressed, and when that happens, we stand up and we talk about it and we'll say, hey, this is fucked up, they're oppressed. Uh, there are times when the U.S. goes too far and does too many wars and kills too many civilians. Oftentimes, they are Muslims, and we stand up and we fight that as well. But on this issue, there is no other side to it. There is no like, well, yeah, the fundamentalist Islamic terrorists murder the people, but there is no but. It's, they feel as if they are oppressed by a cartoon, but they are not oppressed. They are the oppressors. If you're murdering somebody because you don't agree with the fucking cartoon, you're not the oppressee. You're the oppressor. 